This call is being recorded. Welcome back to the artwork of the CP, everyone. I'm sorry for those of you that are in California, um, New York. No wonder why my New York bath is blowing up. No wonder why I'm lipsing in. Um, New York, Illinois now, all have shelter in place um, mandatories. And the reason why Danielle and I are deciding to do this episode is just keep on sanity. It's day 15 for me. I've been um, in lockdown since March 9th. And yeah, day 15, I haven't lost my models yet. Although um, I haven't lost my models yet. And I, um, those of you that have contacts with me on Facebook and Twitter, um, I actually had to do a mini social detox as part of my homework assignment. Not only did I want to do a mini social detox, I um, did it as part of my homework assignment. But now I'm back on, fully ready, prepared to help. So, okay, now I know that I swore to you guys and to the Ask Wind crew that I wouldn't um, mention the capital C word, the deep, deep pneumonia. But since that's all everyone's talking about and I am trying to stay away from it, this will be the last episode we mention it and next week's episode will be learning modalities that you can do at home because people are now asking me when how do you stay so sane how what do you do you're giving people hope number one and you <laughs> You're not losing your marbles. And how do I stay so sane? And how do I stay so sane as a retired educator? Well, I'm doing the work I love, number one. And so um, I think just sticking up, sticking to a normal um, schedule as if you were going to work, um, you can get up at the same time. And my aide even asked me today, do you want to put shoes on? I'm like, no, because I um, have a aversion to shoes. And as soon as I don't put shoes on, my feet would probably feel better um, if I keep shoes off the longest I can. But I am off. I am physically dressed. That is one thing that I um, I tend to get up at 6.30, and people know this, and they think that's crazy for me to be getting up at 6.30. By the time 8, 8, and it still goes for social distancing and me being on lockdown, by the time 8, so, 8 a.m. rolls around, I have people coming in to assist me, and yes, my stepmom is still working, and even though she is working from home, she is still going back and forth to work and to the grocery store, because unfortunately, and I say unfortunately, because we don't have a shelter-in-place mandatory, um, mandatory thing up here so but here's the problem the problem is that the um baby boomer population that doesn't have family living with them right now or um tends to be forgotten about so and here's the major problem the major problem 
is, and someone asked me this yesterday, have you heard from the people that manage your um, case, your um, long-term Medicaid? And I said, no way. No way, no how. And I heard from vocational rehab on a different thing, but I haven't heard from any anything on the disabled front as far as coronavirus. Now I'm tracking it like a hawk, but and Danielle is kind of tracking it like a hawk. I don't know what she's doing, but um, she, okay. So you are tracking it like a hawk, but the fact of the matter is those who are less fortunate to begin with, um, I don't know. I don't know what we can do to help um, you guys because those of us who have disabilities to begin with, who are in quarantine, who are, um, who don't have loving family members, I guess. I hate to say it, but I haven't heard um, the, <laughs> the do doctors in my family haven't checked on me. Um, the psychologist in my family that comes to mind, and yes, she's a um, certified psychologist, hasn't checked on me. Um, the last, the um, last person who checked on my mental state, other than my stepmom, was my therapist, who I'm now seeing via phone until this goes over. And next week we're going to try and do a hip hop group and Zoom chat, which shall be interesting. And then, um, but the last, yeah, my stepmom has checked in on my mental state. I told my stepmom that I was mentally exhausted, and which I still am. And I, um, but the last person who's checked in on both my stepmom and I, and I'm glad that we have a big network all across this country that could pick up the phone um checking on us but the last person who's checked in on both of us was my aide aide now that's a little scary that's a little scary and this this aide has been i mean to me um since she got um since she entered back in my life and so she's been here with me through lockdown, through traveling with me too, because the SA didn't want to travel with me. And I won't tell you guys where the other um, aid is right now, but my other aid is gallivanting somewhere, and we, we wish her the best of luck. She was gun ho to get on an airplane and go on a vacation and uh, good to luck with that one. That's all I'll say about that one. But um, my, see, apparently you're supposed to get checked in on if you're, um, if you're disabled or elderly here in Pickens County, Aspen, Colorado. And I got to figure this out because I'm telling you guys on a national slash world basis on how to get checked it on because I don't know. I haven't been checked in on um, at the Pickens County level since this whole thing started. And that's that's just concerning to me because um and this is gonna make me cry so be ready to pull out the situation you guys 
Um, and I feel like the disabled population and the elderly will, um, without human contact, will go number one nuts, number two possibly die because they can't get the medical care they need and without um without loving family members and all once this episode is posted I'll show it with a friend of mine who brought this up. So thank you, Cass and Carol of the Shining Beautiful series for bringing this up. And she said, well, there's stuff you can do, there's research, you can do this, phone numbers, you can call. But really, I think that um, for Danielle and I, I think that the, um, and I think for the baby boomer generation too, um, because I had older AIDS in my life, and I had, um, and I know that people are struggling because their parents, not only are people losing their jobs, aka teachers losing their jobs, left, right, and center, and let's talk about that one, and I think we should give teachers a higher paycheck now more than ever. But I also know that parents, that um, children are taking care of their parents. And I, I'm, even though my mom, even though my stepmom is in her 60s and still is mobile um, and doesn't have coronavirus, I was taking care of my dad for nine days being my aide at the time, myself, my stepsister, my um, stepmom, all took care of him for nine days. <laughs> nine days because of all yeah. that move. And so, and Danielle was on the outside of it taking care of me. <laughs> sure, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. So, uh, so, this is what happens when the baby boomer generation. Um, get sick because the baby boomer generation, the elderly population can't get can't um get the big capital C word, otherwise they would um die, essentially. And so the children of the baby boomer generation are now taking care of them while figuring out how to maintain their sanity, much less maintain their jobs. And so I I think we have a big, not only a big crisis going on, but, um, but I also think we're forgetting the baby boomer generation, those of us, those, uh, those who are in their 60s, 70s, and 80s, and then, um, those of us who are chronically disabled, like Dan Yellenos and uh, me. And without the um without the love and support from people that are love and support us by a phone or love and support us by a text or um are physically with us because we need help, like Celeste and um my aid and my aid Rita by the way and those of you who've met Rita Rita was with me at Pod Podfest and so um those are the people that Danielle and I are only seeing right now because of social distancing. So what I really want you to do is well those of you and and I've been thinking about this, those of you shelter in place people um in New York and in California and Illinois and I hope 
soon to be Carlisle, soon to be Florida. I hope um, Florida becomes shelter in place because that's just crazy kids on beaches and craziness. Um, and no, that's not social distancing. That's crazy. And so <laughs> it's crazy from a journalist point of view. And it's yeah. crazy from a human point of view. So um, I hope that Cal I hope that Florida um, comes, sh becomes shelter in place sooner rather than later. And the moment I say that, it, it will. I um, I know that I know that there's a couple places in Orlando that are not allowing people by right now, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing because we're trying to watch and good, as I say. But um, those of you who are not shelter in place in lockdown mode, and what um, ask your Amazon smart speaker, and because I did yesterday, ask Google or ask Amazon Lady and Tube what shelter in place means. And um, it's really interesting what she says. And whoever is updating Amazon Lady and Tube needs to update the terminology shelter in place because um, because when I asked her yesterday what shelter in place means, just because I was curious, she said it is um, a building that you previously occupy, which is your home in this case. And then she says, due to a bomb. <laughs> due to a bomb. <laughs> and she, she didn't even say do it to do a house by them. So I was like, okay, okay, we're well, talking to World War II Germany, are we? And so whoever is dealing with the lady tube on the Amazon side needs to update her because she's giving misinformation now. She's giving misinformation. But go ahead and ask. Google and go ahead and ask the Amazon lady in Zoom what shelter in place means. I just um, did it just because I was curious and it wasn't near my laptop and had to, uh, just in case anyone asked me, do you know what shelter in place means? And because nine times out of ten, they, uh, they don't respect my intelligence level. So um, I just asked that. I just asked the lady in tube, Amazon lady in tube, to what is shelter in place, and she gave me the answer, but the answer was wrong. So there we go, Amazon, you need to update the lady in tube's knowledge to, to shelter in place, because uh, half of it was the right, and the other half was World War II ask. so Germany World War II ask. So I feel like um, for those of you who are not in shelter in place mode and for those of you that can do social distancing and yes, I've had friends um, reach out to me to say, if you need anything, we can do social distancing. And it's like, okay, really? But for those of you that are not doing social, that can do social distancing and have a next door neighbor that is elderly or disabled and doesn't have family taking care of them and they're not on social media as much as we are and everything else, please, 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 please go check on them because I doubt that, and this is, this is based out of, this is based out of Colorado, from Hickman County, Aspen, Colorado, to be exact. Um, I sat in a community meeting the other day, and yes, I do have uh, seen the incidents in Colbus and for myself, but 
that um, I haven't set it up yet. Don't ask why, and I will set it up once this thing blows over. But I doubt that if those senior citizen call buttons get touched, I doubt that um, most of the ambulance districts are taking high priorities to seniors um, falling over, and I mean literally falling over and breaking bones and stuff. So for those who have access to a call button, um, you use it, but use it severely. And for those who are not on shelter in place mode, please, 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 please go check on your um, elderly population slash your disabled population because, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Please, hello. Yeah. Because um, the county, the Pickens County and Danielle, um, Danielle is semi, well, she's, she's in Snowmass. Um, she's in the town of Snowmass, but the counties are not checking in on us on a daily um, to weekly basis. They'll really, um, I shared a picture out of, I shared a picture off of Pickens County um, Community Health Services and Pickens County Community Health Services, like the photo that I shared, but that's, that's all they said. They didn't come to ask me how I was, so that's why I'm doing week morning check-ins with everyone all across the country you guys those of you that follow me on facebook there's a message to my madness how are you how are you honestly what can i do to help because the counties all across the country um nassau county in new york is definitely not checking in on their disabled and definitely not checking in on the elderly. And I know counties in Salt Lake are not doing the same thing. And I know that Salt Lake got a heck of a scare this week because they had a 3.7 earthquake. And of course, I found that one out on Facebook and almost had a panic attack because I have friends out there and I'm like, okay, great. Earthquake uh, and the capital. <laughs> and we have the elderly population. Ooh, yeah. And we have the disabled. And now, and so, no. And so it's like the these counties are not checking in on their uh, at risk populations. I mean, they're, everyone's trying to do the best best they can, but at the same time, if you if you guys can do me a favor and check in on the elderly and the disabled, those of you who are not in in place mode, um, just do that for me. Just make me feel better, and. Those of you who have access to me on Facebook, you can follow me, you can follow Danielle, you can um, send a request us and just check in with us to make sure that we're doing, we are doing okay. We are texting back and forth every single day, making sure that we're not losing our moment yet, but um, and as I told you the story of my dad, when he was home uh, in April, it takes all hands on deck to um, to care for the elderly. And even though, and this is a story that will make me cry, one day I was talking to him and um, I come out of my bathroom and I um, am talking to him, and he goes, you have more mobility than I do. And so that's 
why I'm trying to keep my, my mobility right now, just in case I need to, just in case I need to do something out of the ordinary. And so, um, please, 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 those of you who are not in, um, shelter in place mode, please, please go check on the disabled, please go check on the elderly, because, um, that is something that I want, um, you guys to do in fact, um, in fact, I let all and my employees know this, my personal employees know this, that if they have a family emergency, I let my employees use their cell phones at my place of work. It's just, um, it's just my protocol because I know that family is now in this time family is more important than ever so if you can call your mom if you can call your dad check in or um if you can go see them and not in shelter in place mode and if they're um if they're not doing uh, well, of course, a family member has to wash their hands. But um, if you can get in the back of Uber right now or drive yourself over to mom and dad's and just check in on them. Because as I said, the these counties all across the U.S., including Pickens County in Aspen, Colorado, isn't... Um, checking in on the elderly and the disabled. There, um, and Nora is, and I'm going to cause a big stink Monday morning if um, at my case manager, so to speak, I'm going to ask her, I'm, I need to call them anyway, but I'm going to ask her, what are we supposed to do during this coronavirus? How are we supposed to, um, deal with this. And so when I call Monday morning to ask my question, I'm going to bring up the big capital C word and say, um, how are we supposed to deal with this? And then I'll, I'll let you guys know what I find out because um, this is what, this is what I want to do I want to do citizen journalism slash I want to be a journalist? So um, that's what I'm concentrating on. Now, my calendars, because of the social distancing thing and because of me not going to work, um, me quitting my day job and because of me becoming a full-time content creator, my calendar is opened up every... Um, every afternoon, including the weekends, so you guys can talk to me by a cell phone about the coronavirus, about how you guys are doing, and about how to the podcast, about um, doing the podcast recordings. Of course, we'll still be having podcast recordings on the amazing <laughs> voices of teachers and on the, um, I almost said the work of CP. No, on no. that's what uh, that's what I meant. See, the only the only way I'm losing my marbles, you guys, is because I get shows confused. That's the only way I'm losing my marbles, you guys. But other than that, I'm perfectly fine. But I, because I, I told Danielle that I would just do schoolwork in the morning and um, open up the calendar for the rest of the afternoon because now is the time to, um, now is the time to watch and learn and love one another. So Danielle, do you want to close this episode out before uh, we just leave everyone to their own devices 
Well, yeah, we will um, hopefully see you guys and just be aware of what's going on, you guys. And social distancing is tough. And yikes, it's tough, I know. And so I know, I know it's tough. But those of you who are not in shelter in place mode, go check on the disabled. Go check on the elderly and make me feel better. And those of you who like to read books, you can pick up Danny Elf's book. You can pick up my books and make us very happy. And those of you on Audible, my books are on Audible. Those of you on Amazon, both Danny Elf's and I on Amazon. And so, yeah, Danny will put links in the show notes, but that's the update from us. And Danny Elf, I want to thank you for joining me and thank you for following us, everyone. Bye, you guys. Bye.